Fan fiction is usually when someone takes either the story or characters, or both, of a certain piece of work, whether it be a novel, TV show, movie, etc., and create their own stories based on it. Sometimes people will take characters from one movie and put them in another, which is called a crossover. However, there is another side to fan fiction, which is when someone takes a real life person and throws them into a scenario or plot that they created themselves. Fan fiction is mainly popular amongst younger generations, and they decide that they would like to write a story about that book or that person. I've been, I think I've been reading fan fiction longer than I've been writing it. Because obviously you need to get your inspiration from somewhere. I've been writing it for about two years, I think. I've probably been reading it for a little bit longer than two years. Maybe just like a few months longer than two years. Um, I was just scrolling through Wattpad for some random stuff to read because I was bored. And I came across fan fiction and realised that it existed and I got really excited. Well, it gives me something to do, for starters. It's a nice hobby to have and it, um, it gets up your skills in, in writing. And it's just, it's just fun coming up with all these ideas and exploring a different world with like characters that already exist. I really enjoy fan fiction, both the writing and the reading, and I really recommend that people should at least read it for themselves. Obviously, you're going to come across some really bad fan fiction because not everyone's a great writer, which is understandable. But if you come across a really, really good fan fiction, it's just really enjoyable. As society becomes more welcome to new things, people become more open to reading fan fiction. It is now seen as an appeal to fans of shows or people as they can read stories about their favourite people. Fan fiction is said to be the next big thing in the writing world. Publishers are willing to seek out fan fiction writers, help them adapt their stories into regular stories, which is just changing characters' names mainly, and publish them. An example of this would be the After Trilogy, which was originally a Harry Styles fan fiction trilogy on the writing site Wattpad, which is one of the biggest homes to fan fiction as of today. Regular fiction and fan fiction share some genres that the whole world would recognise, yet fan fiction also adds in a whole new set of genres to fan fiction story writing. Fan fiction brings the addition of crossover stories, which essentially mashing two stories or two shows together, or replacing a real life person into a world of show which they were originally not in. An example of this would be throwing Harry Styles into Hogwarts or Tom Jones into Star Trek. When the words fan and fiction are used together, some people cringe away and act like it's some kind of disgusting disease. However, it's rather the contrary. Fan fiction isn't about trying to be weird by writing Tom Jones in the Planet of the Apes, but is rather about writing something about a famous person or character that fans can imagine and enjoy. Not all fan fictions are as great and respectful as each other. Some stories are poorly written, and sadly those are mostly written by werewolf obsessed 12 year old girls. However, not all regular fictions are as great as each other. So there are really no differences between fan fiction and regular fiction, other than the fact that you don't own Harry Styles' character within your story, or you don't own the magical world Hogwarts. Some authors like the thought of their fans recreating their stories, however, some do not. Some people think of fan fiction as stealing someone else's ideas and to an extent, it could be seen that way, but in all honesty, fans do not intend to sell their works. Fan fiction is a piece of fiction written for the fans by the fans. Obviously, you're going to come across some really bad fan fiction because not everyone's a great writer like me. Not to, <laughs> to 